Hello everyone, good evening or morning, wherever you are. Um, I'm here at home and I've been writing and reading when I'm not running my business um, in the real estate industry and wanted to recite two of my poems. One is an Easter occasion slash elegy poem. It's a poem about my deceased nephew. He was the eldest out of all my sister's kids and it's been a year since he passed away. So I wrote this poem a year ago and I think I posted it on one of my social media accounts. And I know that a lot of people like my poems. I actually have a lot of fan base in my writing. And so I'm going to recite that Easter poem. And the second poem is a poem relating to skating and it's called Wheels. And I'm gonna start with that one since it's a little bit more lighter. <laughs> um, I've also gotten a response that um, people really, really like that, that poem as well. It's pretty captivating and um, pretty deep. So I'm gonna recite it. I don't know it by heart. So if I'm looking down, it's because I am either looking at my screen <laughs> or looking uh, to a paper down here. Okay. But I'm trying, I'm going to try my best to recite it and still try to keep eye contact with everybody. <laughs> Um, and my apologies if it gets really emotional for people. I know some poems are deeper than others, um, but I, I always feel that as artists and as creative people, you know, we give ourselves license and permission to voice, to give voice, right? Um, whether people get offended or touchy or crying or anger, you know, these are all usually results of how we consume art, right? Um, and 100% uh, of the time has nothing to do with the artist or the writer or the poet, right? Because <laughs> um, that's definitely, my intention is that, you know, as the universal themes of loss, of love, of fear, of, I think that all of us as human experience at some point in life, if not all of it, all at the same time, all at once, all the time. Um, so here we go. So I'm going to recite Wheel, and then I'm going to recite uh, the Easter poem that is dedicated to my nephew. Wheels. You're not even on the ground. You're not even here, not solid. Race across paths, roads, and highways. On wheels, can you see me? Wintry winds speak of wisdom. I'm the owl who swallows all in. Push me slowly, not too fast or hard. Can't you see? I'm balancing on these wheels. And the second poem. On the eve of Easter Sunday, our nephews. Today marks two months since you've been gone. You're in heaven, high in the air, clouds, angels, guarded pearl gates, peeking to see all of us. Who else is up there? Michael. Ariel, there in heaven, high in the air, clouds, angle, angels. Today, sister's lunch trimmed with chicken strips. Who else is up there? Abuela, Auntie Caro. They're also in heaven, high in the air, clouds, angels. Guarded pearl gates speaking to see all of us. Can I tell you who's a newborn? Cousins, friends. There's a sweet, precious little boy, a nephew. 
Today is his first birthday. A teddy bear engraved. His name lies nestled on the teddy bear's sweater. I've never met him, but he is loved by his uncle. Diapers shipped cross country from both of us. Can I tell you who's a newborn? My soulmate's nephew nestled name on a teddy bear's chest. Today is his first birthday. A teddy bear is named. Diapers shipped cross country from both of us. Thank you. Hope everyone likes it. It's a little bit, I don't know, I have um, my thoughts about my own poetry. Um, especially as we're creating voices and characters 